What's up, Tenno? Liquid Rain here. Warframe's Operation Tethra has escalated. Essentially, Lotus has been sending us on a wild goose chase, capturing outdated Fomorian cores. And while we've been on this goose chase, Vehek has been installing his next-gen Fomorian shield cores. Lotus has since developed a cipher that will allow us to locate these new cores. Once again, everyone will have received a Tethra shield cipher blueprint. It will require players to get six data fragments instead of three, and use a thousand alloy plates instead of a thousand polymer bundles. To get these fragments, you need to once again head to Earth and go into the interception mission, domination, whatever territories you want to call it. It seems that they have beefed up the spawn rate though, and the Grenier, Grenier are coming a lot, so you may feel a little over overwhelmed as compared to the usual snooze fest that interception is. You should be able to easily beat this mission though. I did it with just me and one other person, and he was a level 2 Excalibur. So once you get to the first 100%, you should leave and you'll get your two fragments, and you need to repeat, repeat, repeat until you get the six. Once again, build the Cypher in the Foundry, and it will take 60 seconds. So this is basically just hard mode of the event. You'll need to push the core along the track again to its destination. The Grenier will be like level 27 and above, and there will be more of them. There will be more heavies and more leaders, the leaders being the fire and the ice guys. There are going to be mines on the tracks, so you'll need to deal with these as they will deal extra damage to the core if they pass over un unobstructed. So keep your eyes on the rail and destroy them before the core even gets there. And make sure you have one person that will run ahead and open the doors for you. That way you're not waiting there too long trying to jump up and open the door. I recommend that you have a trinity on your team for two reasons. The first is that the Grenier can hurt you and having someone go down will only slow down the mission. And two, it will regenerate your, your team's shields so that way you can keep pushing the core and don't have to wait for shield recharges. For this mode, each point of health seems to be one point at the end. So getting to the end with a thousand or more health is your goal. There are new rewards for this escalation, so getting a, completing the mission with a thousand points or more, you'll get a quantum badge. This is the first badge of its kind. It'll have some kind of particle effect and look, woo, fancy. And these scores will count towards your clan competition, so higher scores, better ranking in the clan competition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Please like, subscribe, and comment below.